Well, another crazy day of weather, but an exciting day of fishing, I, I hope. We are uh, here at Camelot Bell. Kenny Curley has challenged us to the Wolfpack Lake. Just the name of it itself sounds exciting to me. This place is known for big fish. I'm still hunting a 10 pound bass, and uh, from what I'm hearing, if there's ever a place to catch a 10 pound bass or bigger, it's uh, here at Camelot Bell. It was 80 something degrees yesterday and blowing. Today it's 60 degrees and blow in the opposite direction. So uh, hopefully these fish will be fired up and we'll be catching a lot of giants as the day goes on. Hey Brent. Hey Kenny. How's it going? Nice to meet you finally. Yes sir, looking forward to it. Great, I, I heard this is quite a special place we're fishing. It is a very special place. The, it's called the Wolf Pack. The Wolf Pack That just lake. sounds fishy. Yeah. Sounds like uh, big fish too, right? Big fish. I know when we set this deal up, you know, we can't predict the weather. I think the weather, it's pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad, but uh, I think I think the place we're fishing is going to make up for this crazy weather. Exactly. You know, they're there, uh, they're there. We just got to catch them. Well, let's get out there. Let's give it a try. We got power poles. We got a trolling motor. So we're we'll good just to go. go make the best of it and uh, see what this place uh, has got in it. Look forward to it. Let's do it. All righty, let's get it on. Hi, my name's Kenny Curley. I'm from Montgomery, Texas. I own a small auto glass company in Conroe, Texas, and I love to fish. I have challenged Brent to fish the Wolfpack Lake. There's a bunch of tins, some smaller ones, but there's a bunch of good fighting fish in that lake. There are a bunch of jumpers. Today is very windy, so I'm thinking, you know, we may have to throw some really heavy weights. I like cranking, but when it comes down to it, I will throw a heavy, heavy weight in a you know, slow process and try to get a big bite. Well, Kenny, a nice short little boat ride. Made it up here. I, I can tell the wind is gonna be a challenge for us, but uh, I think we can make the best of a windy situation and use our power poles a lot and still make this happen. Looks good. Uh, I know you've seen the show, but the, the quick rules, first fish, most fish, and biggest fish, and they got to be 12 inches long. Do you think we can do that? I think we can. All right. Well, uh, let's see if we can't catch a, some giant bass. What do you say? Let's go do it. Let's do it. All Have right. Have a bump, baby. Uh, let's All see. Right. What are you going to start with? I'm going to start with, I'm going to try a chatterbait. A chatterbait. All right, well, I'm going to pick up a spinnerbait then. You know, I always try to be a good host. I'm going to give you the first cast. Looks rather fishy up here. And if you want to run the trolling motor, and we'll switch that back and forth, and let's catch some fish. You know, I, I can see some standing trees in this lake and everything. What else is, what, what else is in here? A uh, bunch of underwater structure, breaks. There's some, a lot of good points on it with some good hard bottom. So. Just a little bit of everything. A little uh, bit of everything. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. That didn't take long. The netter. <laughs> netter. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Are we going to do the, the first oh, and the biggest oh, oh. all in one? Oh, my gosh. There you go. That's what we come here for. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. Folks, there's why you use a trailer hook. You know what? If these were humans, they'd say like these fish need to be on a diet. But if you're a bass <laughs> fisherman, look at that, guys. Look at that fish. That fish is not very long. Is that what's in here? That's what's in here. Holy and bigger. Cow. Yeah. That is impressive right there. With the way that started out, I think we're going to catch bigger. All right, well, I'll, I'll let it go. The wolf pack. <laughs> There's one. Hmm? You need the net? Nah, it's a small one. Hey, it's a, it counts. Still a Not nice a fish on. He's healthy for yep, sure. He is. 
Brent Chapman's Pro vs. Joe, brought to you by Fulton, Waves of Innovation, Maxxis Tires, your way to adventure. So Kenny, when, when uh, I was waiting to meet up with you this morning, I, I got to meet Mike, the owner, and he was explaining to me that these lakes, that fishing is just kind of an extra bonus right. thing that he offers here, but he actually is genetically raising these fish to be fat fish, as you saw, and that uh, these fish are actually for sale. So he wants to get these genetics spread around the country. Right. And, well, it's like, just like the big deer factories where they grow, you know, big deer. And, yeah. And they sell them and uh, where well, you can get your herds on up. And it's right. the same with bass fishing, which you don't see hardly anybody really do that. Fish? No, I was just hitting the grass. Oh, that's a fish. Oh my gosh. Good one? That's a pretty good one. I don't know how big it is, but. I'm gonna lose my rod over there. Where would come right or left? Uh, I think it's just wherever he wants to go. There we go. That's a good problem to have. Yeah. Come on. It's a good fish. Not a oh, giant, yeah. not a giant, but. Oh! Woo! Look at these fish! Wow! Yeah. Look at these things! Oh my gosh! Wow, dude, need, that is awesome. Did not need a trailer hook. He hit it good. These fish need to go on a diet. Not really. Look at that. I, we got to weigh that thing. Let's see what All that right. thing weighs. We can do that. Look at that. 5.54 pounds. Wow. That's awesome. Guys, we've been fishing a whole 15 minutes. 30 plus years of bass fishing. And we haven't even left this one spot. I've never seen such fat bass. <laughs> wow. Well, let's let him go. Look at all these shad right here. I know. Oh my gosh, there's another, another one. one. Hey Brent, do you mind uh, grabbing that for me, please? What is it? You're, you get you get ahead of me here, and you're not even gonna let me catch up now. <laughs> We're supposed to fish together. I'm not supposed <laughs> to just be your net man. <laughs> they have some power too, don't oh, they? Oh yeah. Look, see, they like Bring to jump here too. On this right side, absolutely. Yeah, they love to jump, man. Oh, there yeah. you go. Sweet. Awesome. Nice fish. Yeah. I think good this fish. might be a spinnerbait day. I think you're right. That's probably a good three and a half pounder. Yeah, definitely. Oh! Uh -oh. I don't think it's very big. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Little guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at that. The trailer hook, though. Oh, don't break my spinnerbait. Oh. Those are the worst ones for a spinnerbait. That fish hit it like a 10 pounder. Yeah, one day he will be yep. a 10 pounder. Oh! What do we got here? What you got, baby? Ah, nice one. Need a net? Ah, I got it. You got it? Okay. I'll practice here. I don't get to use nets very often, so this will be a good. Uh... Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's why you use a trailer hook. Well, that's a solid, a very, solid that, three pound bass. That's a hefty little fit. Yeah, on a, normal, Beautiful. on a normal deal, it'd probably be a two pounder, you know? I definitely like this place, the Wolf Pack. <laughs> oh, there's a bite. Row, row. Look at oh, that one. That's a nice, nice one. one. Nice one. I'll get the net for you. Let me reel mine in because I don't want to lose Whoa. a rod. Whoa. Where you want to go to, Brent? You're going to cut here? Whatever. Okay. I'm, I'm not going where I want to go. I'm going where this fish wants to go. Oh. Look at that thing. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Get in here. Yeah. Right. Woohoo. Good job. That's awesome. That Gosh, is a, look that's at these a, bass. That is a great one right there. We definitely got to weigh him. <laughs> definitely. Look at that thing. Let me get that scale for you, sir. These are very overweight fish here. Is it another one? Right here, okay. yes. Look at that fish, guys. If you want the most genetically superior bass in the world, I think we found them. What you got, Brent? Six pounds even. Wow. A six pounder, guys. I think I like this place. That's a very good Dude, fish. this is awesome. And we're still fish. not done yet. Pro versus Joe, brought to you by Power Pole, Swift, Silent, 
secure. Fraybill, trusted gear since 1938. Plano, protect your passion. Hey, Kenny. Yes, sir. Come over here on my other side and okay. throw. I can see a clump right here. Right. That's what. That's oh, what a yeah, good yeah. pair of. That's what a good pair of uh, coasters do for, does for you. You can. Uh, you can see the uh, little clumps of grass out exactly. here on this edge. There's one fish. Yeah. On the soft plastic, good one. Yeah. It's okay. It's not a big one. He's got more grass than anything. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's not that big. <laughs> but getting that grass is hey, hard to that's tell. That's all right. I felt him just barely bump it. Oh, nice, that. Uh, nice one. Hey, look at that, Brent. It's got What's a little, that? little coon tail there, sir. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's uh, that's good stuff right there. That is definitely my favorite. I've always been around that and catch plenty of good fish. Yeah. Oh, God. Fish? Oh, yeah, I missed him. Uh, no, wait a minute. I still got him. Got him. Little guy. Get him through that grass. Get Maybe out of there. You put some soft plastics on, aren't you? There we go. It's fun, isn't it? Beautiful fish. Brent, I'm gonna get all these small ones out of your way so you can catch them big ones. Hey, that's uh, I'm all about catching a big one. <laughs> that sounds like all right with me. Oh, there's another one. What? Oh yeah. All right, now now you're. Uh... Man, they're just. Nah, no, it's small one. Isn't that funny? They just. They don't want the. I guarantee you, they're loaded in there. Same size as the last one. There's one. Ugh. I need a heavier weight. Boom! You throw a half ounce. Is what I'm throwing. <laughs> yeah. See, I got a, I got a little three eighths ounce, and I can't feel it. That's fun, catching them almost every cast. Heck yeah. Yeah, and that's what they're doing here. They're growing these bass like this. I bet this thing's what, not even a year, maybe a year old? Probably so. And they're already that big. Yeah. Awesome little fish. I'll tell you what. Oh! <laughs> I got this you one. You got him, you don't need net. Okay, good. Look at that, that looks like a that one doesn't have the gold color to it. Yeah. Still fun. My goodness. Fun stuff, fun it. stuff. It's more weedless. It might go through this fun fish. Oh, yeah, that's a small one. I'm gonna use him for bait. You know, in a lake like this, I I wouldn't I wouldn't like to be him. No. He could be a victim. All those little fish like that must be going through a little nursery area. Yeah. Oh, Oh, uh, double, huh? I got a good one here. Uh oh, yeah, you do. Here, here. here. That's all right. No, you no, got I it, got, it. got it. Cause mine's not near as big. Oh, oh my gosh! Get, Whoa. Good job, Brent. <laughs> Whoa! Holy moly! Bigger than I thought. Yeah, it was a whole lot bigger than I thought. Boom! There. Look at that. <laughs> well, you definitely got me on that double print. <laughs> Look at these things. They're massive. Dude. I think yours could eat mine. <laughs> Guys, we're catching fish on like brutal conditions. The temperatures dropped like 10 degrees since we've been here. Wind couldn't blow much harder. So imagine what it would be like on a on a normal fishing day. Let's see this one. Six and a half. Six six. Six, six. six and a half pounder. Awesome. We got bloody tail. Oh gosh, darn. Man, oh, that's another massive. good one, yeah. Oh, come here. Well, they like your chatterbait. They're liking that today. That you know that water's got a little color to it from the wind right, and that right. vibration, they just, you know, those senses, they get it. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh boy, that one was out a little bit. You got him? A uh, little guy. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. But man, they're fun. All the it's just the anticipation and feeling that strike. 
<laughs> if I had one other thing to try, it'd be you know like a lipless crankbait. See if you could pull them out out of it with the. Oh, there you go. We were just saying you might have to get it down in yeah. the grass, and that's what you did. Good healthy fish. It's not a giant. Pro versus Joe, brought to you by Sportsman's Shake, Power Your Obsession, Garmin Panoptics, All Seeing Sonar. Join the pros who switch to Garmin. Pro versus Joe, brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Pitbull Cutters, the best braided line cutters, period. Oh, Bro. maybe not. There you oh. go. <laughs> How about that? That, that was, was pretty a, cool. That was a good. <laughs> that was a good deal. Always fun pulling a fish out of pulling one out of a tree like that. Good job. Oh, look at that chunk. Got the belly on. Wish they all got hooked like that. The fish were in that weird mode. Uh oh. Wow! Look at that thing go. <laughs> yeah. He had that thing for a while, but I just wasn't real, real sure. So they're still there. Yeah. Good chunky fish. And a lizard. A lizard, huh? Lizard of all things. I'll be more than happy to net yours for you too. Uh-oh, and that might be it right there. Holy cow. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> and that's why... <laughs> Between Brent detonating and my... making sure I was holding the rod up. Ah, that's crazy. 504. Five pounder and a, probably 18 inches long. But show the camera, look at the girth on this bass. Look how thick they are. Right. Heard it so, yeah, look how thick that fish is. That just shows you they are doing the right thing here. For sure. Oh, uh -oh. fish. Little guy. Is he? Huh. Little, Little guy. guy is a three pounder. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good job. I definitely like this place. It's fun. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh, another good one. Holy moly, that's a good one. It ain't no tenor, but it's, it's a- plastic, yeah, that's a- That's a good fish anyhow. Boom, All right. look at that. Thank you, thank you, Brent. That might be the big one of the day. Let's see, I don't think so, I think he's- Gosh, That's look a at good the size fish. of those fish. Five and a half and still beautiful. Beautiful fish, look at that. <laughs> nice old chub. Wow, these things are tanks. Let me let that one go. Truly tanks. There's one. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. That's a good, no, it's not. That's a good one. It's an awesome one. Gosh, look at these things. Yeah. Well, maybe it's bigger than I thought. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Jeez. Wow! <laughs> Boom! Sweet. That Camelot, Bill, the wolf pack. Come catch some of these wolves right here. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, that's what he said they're trying to do. They want to grow record sized bass here. Uh oh. That's a pretty good one. You see how shallow he was, though? Right, exactly. I've just seen that. Wow. Three pounder. We're good. I got him. Sure. Yeah, he's a good okay. practice one. Oh, okay. Good practice for. Uh... There you go. <laughs> Flip a four pounder. <laughs> yeah, <in the> <laughs> and he's like a four pounder. Look <laughs> at those things. Beautiful fish. Just awesome. massive big bellies, and that's what Mike's talking about. Is growing these bass that have bigger, fatter bellies on them. And look how thick that thing is. I mean, he's massive. I mean, that thing is super thick. I definitely like this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's one. Another nice one. Little dude. It's gotta be here. Found the hook. Heard that. Is that a good one? Nah, it's a small one. Small one, what a 
Three pound small one? Three pound small one. Uh, I think it's two. Come on, one more. One more. Save the best for last here. You did good on your last couple of casts there. Guys, we're getting blown off here, so we're about to call it a wrap. But if you want to come have some phenomenal fishing, even on a windy day like this, check out Camelot Bell. Call Mike. Tell him you want to come down here and fish the wolf pack. Kenny, I enjoyed it. Absolute blast. I had the blast. It has been absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. I gotta say, Camelot Bell is by far the best place I've ever fished, even under adverse conditions like this. We had a phenomenal day. I'm so glad he came down and took this challenge. It was a very, very cool deal to you know get fish with bread. I mean, it was a it's one of my bucket lists. I squeaked out the first fish, and I barely squeaked out the big fish. I mean, they were right there together. I think I threw out there and, and caught that first really nice five pounder. His next cast, he caught one as well. That chatterbait was working big for him and he was able to squeak out the bigger fish. Come down here to Camelot Bell and fish this place. You got the Wolfpack Lake, you can fish here and catch these giant fat bass, or you can go up to the old lake and fish for the really big old bass and, and catch them up there as well. Pros versus Joes is definitely a fun thing to do. Get fish for a pro for that day. <laughs>